in case you have missing data and in our case we had missing data on the four demographics so one of the ways you should work is if you have missing data the first thing that you should do is in the estimation you should click on we in order to work with missing data we need to impute the missing data values and then work because otherwise you will not be able to run so if you remember yesterday uh, uh, earlier when we were doing this kind of an analysis we had checked perform bootstrapping all of this and then uh, we tried to run the model and it gave us an error it said a bootstrap cannot be performed with missing data right because our demographics had missing data issue then we sorry we then next what did we do we said okay we will not do bootstrapping okay and then we had modification indices and all of this and then we tried to run the model again and it again gave us an error said that the modification indices cannot be computed with incomplete data so what did we do we said okay we don't want modification indices now please run the model and it then ran the model so we could not estimate bootstrap we could not do the modification so what do you do if you have missing data the this method is called as full information maximum likelihood so the way to work with missing data is we should actually ask the software to impute the missing data value how do you do it to do this you should first click estimate means and intercept if you have missing data you will have to click on this and then go to analyze and say impute the data data imputation just like we had done imputation for our when we were doing moderation run now you say data imputation and then say impute the data okay because it is saying it has an error because our underscore c file is already open you can change the name also you can give it another name i will call it as missing data okay so i am now giving it a name data sem underscore c underscore missing data and then i impute and you will see now the name the following completed data file was created data sem c underscore missing now you go to this folder and you can see the sem data sem c missing data file okay this file opens up and you can look at your these were the demographics okay these were the variables on which there was missing data but now you see what has happened is that the software has actually imputed all these variables okay so now there is no missing data on this it has based on the trend in the data it has tried to fill in the missing data based on the patterns that it had observed in the data set now there are no missing data and what i will do is i will remove all of these because i would want to use this data file again in my analysis so i will remove the other part i will retain only the the original file and because it had also estimated the latent factor value at this time i don't need it i needed only these values for my demographic now what do i do i go back to this model and i instead of saying data sem i will change this file to data sem missing data okay and then i press okay and now i will actually do everything i will do perform bootstrapping i will say report modification indices 
and I will run the analysis. It is running with 5000 bootstrap samples and it has given us the output. This is the fit of the model. Okay. Chi square, RMSEA, CFI. Okay. Chi square by DF. GFI, it has still not given because yeah, maybe some missing. Yeah. The same uh, uh, second table was coming yesterday. Yes. I was telling you. Yes, yes. Okay, so, anyways, we'll go ahead and we will see that our relationships have been tested and we are also getting the bootstrap estimates. Right? We can get the bootstrap confidence intervals. So, now what have we done? We have imputed the missing data. However, let me also mention, I was mentioning this in our earlier discussion. Usually, I am not very comfortable imputing the demographics of people. I'm okay if they had, if we were imputing responses on other items. Uh, but here we have imputed gender, age, education, tenure, which is a, so we are, uh, I would, yeah, you can, you should just be a little careful uh, before you, you should sort of be very clear what you are trying to achieve. But uh, what I'm trying to demonstrate here is how you would use the imputation model, imputation method to work with the missing data. So you can impute in your data file, missing data, and then read it again in your model, and then run it with your analysis and it will give you the solution bootstrapping and modification indices that you want to achieve. 